All right, hey guys, it is Jake. I'm Jake from Team Insanity. Nick. Jacob. Yeah, so we're going to try to change up the Wednesday videos. So every week, every Wednesday, we're going to try to do like a frequently asked questions or whatever. Just comment anything that you guys want. Um, and we will go through on this video, especially this video, comment whatever you want on this video that you guys are watching. And next Wednesday, we will have all of these questions hopefully answered. So it can be anything that you want. It doesn't have to be paintball related. It can be practically anything that you want other than like our address or like, Hey guys, how big is your cock? Obviously, we're not going to answer that kind of thing. So, let's get into the first question. One guy asked, what type of paint does crew use? Now, crew is a field that we play at from time to time in Michigan. It is an indoor field. They use GI paint, but they use shitty GI paint. Unless if you get like the GI 5 star, which costs a lot of money. That's the kind of paint that they use. What is your guys' opinion on their paint? Actually, their paint Jacob, sucks. Yeah, their paint sucks. Next question. So, Swerve Paintball. Swerve! Okay, this guy says, Cool gun, man. Now, this is on the E-Tech 4 um, shooting uncapped semi gameplay and commentary. Uh, he asks, Cool gun, man, but you're being, an, you're being too much of an experienced player, I assume. Uh, should be a little more welcoming during rec... Rec is in quotations. Rec play, especially if they're just a guy and his wife. Don't shoot them up at their spawn point and try to trick them. Blah, blah. He was obviously camping because they weren't... Okay, whatever. I'm not going to say the whole comment because he's just ranting. So, he's basically saying don't sit at their spawn point because they're new players. So, my reaction to that is I actually told them to move because I did not want to shoot them. I just wanted to go for the flag in the game kind of said that in the commentary, I wanted to go for the win, but they didn't move, so I had to annihilate them, their loss, their problem, not mine. Now, I did not shoot the living daylights out of them. Now, this is my, this is my look on, you know, camping people's spawn points and being aggressive, I guess you can say. Um, my look at it is if you're going to come out and play paintball, you have to be prepared to get shot. Now, not, not necessarily overshot, but everyone is coming to the paintball field they, they need to be prepared. They have to be in that mindset. Okay, I'm coming to play paintball. I'm going to get shot. I'm not going to, like, come out there and coddle someone just because they're a new player. I'm not going to, I'm not going to go treat a new player differently than an experienced player. I mean, of course, I am a little bit. I'm not going to shoot the living daylights out of them. I'll actually give them a chance. But I'm not just going to, you know, let them shoot me like he told me to. He's just like, maybe you should let them shoot you and have a nice, fun time. Honestly... I'm not just going to throw them the game because they're new. They have to get used to it. It's just like, you know, that's just like saying, hey, I didn't make a goal in soccer, so now I'm going to quit. This is my first soccer game. I hate soccer because I didn't get a goal. Or say, uh, oh, man, I got tackled. That guy tackled me. I hate football. I'm never playing football again. That's, that's kind of how I took that comment, him saying, hey, you should let the new player shoot you. You need to stop shooting them. And play less aggressive. That's kind of how I take it. You know, that's just like a pro football player on his first day. Hey guys, you tackled me! I'm quitting football! Because you tackled me! Be nice because I'm a rookie! So yeah, that's how I take that. That's what I have to say to that comment. What do you guys think? Um, we always stay courteous to new players and little kids. We don't shoot them up. We one ball them and give them a chance to call out, do whatever. And that guy, I was, he wasn't there so he couldn't know. But I'm not calling you a dick, by the way, if you're watching this video, which you probably aren't. That's just, that's just my reply to that comment. What about you, Jacob? Dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's Jacob's reply. Okay, so Luke Johnson, you have commented on almost every single video we have uploaded in the past two months, and you keep on asking us to do um, a G5 review. We do not own a Dangerous Power G5. If someone owns a Dangerous Power G5 and they want us to, and they want you, you know, you want to send us one so we can use it. Send it to us, but we are not buying a Dangerous Power G5 in the, um, anytime soon. You ask G5 or Mini, I'm going to take it to G5. I have shot it. I don't like the Mini. The Mini's garbage. The barrel's terrible. You know, ASA, terrible. Fucking board, terrible. Actually, not on the V3. And the trigger, absolutely worst gun on the... Worst fucking trigger on any gun that I've ever shot. Do not buy the Mini over, I mean, the G5. Yeah, people are going to say, Oh my god, but it's Dangerous Power, but you know, they did... They did, um, you know, fix the problems that they had on the leaking, that kind of stuff. So that's what I have to say. Honestly, I'm not going to do a Dangerous Power G5 review. You keep on asking every single video, and I keep on telling you, no, we're not going to do one because we don't have one. 
So please, that is my answer to the next 50 comments on every video. I'm not doing a Dangerous Power G5 review until I get a Dangerous Power G5. I think I pretty much nailed that one. <laughs> Do you guys have anything to add? <laughs> this guy asks, um, are you guys currently looking for new team members? Now, okay, I don't know what state you live in, but we live in Michigan. So honestly, I don't see, I mean, this probably lives in like fucking Zimbabwe or something. Honestly, we're not looking for someone that's not in our area, okay? People ask that all the time. Do you guys want new team members? I mean, honestly, you know, we are always open to team members. Like, we, we like to be friends, that kind of stuff. We're not looking to get, you know, superstar pro, like, you know, go recruit, like, you know, every cool, good person. You know, we just like to play with friends, play play fun, play, play, play recreationally, that kind of stuff. So, if you are in the Michigan area... Come hang out with us. message all the recent players and I'd like you to join my clan. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Some guy asks, who is the best person on your team? Well, obviously <laughs> me. No, I'm just fucking with you. Um, honestly, there's not one person that's... I mean, we, we all have our strong suits, basically. You know, I'm better at snap shooting than other people, and other people are better than... I, I don't know. I just we all, We're all good at different things. We all know our positions. We all know what we're supposed to do. So... What do you guys think? What do you think, Jacob? You're kind of quiet. I think you suck. Okay, so he thinks I suck. What about you? I think you suck, too. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob's too pro for us, apparently. <laughs> too pro for me. I don't know. I mean, my uh, covering the hopper seems pretty professional. Way to break the fourth wall, Nick. This guy asked, Jake, I'm looking to pick up the reflex rail. Hey, my name's in there, so this is my question. So he asked, I'm looking to pick up the reflex rail, but everyone keeps giving me crap and telling me to buy the axe. Do you like the rail, or if I, or if you could go back and get an axe, would you? Why or why not? Um, honestly, do whatever you want. Don't do what everyone else says. Like everyone told me to get the invert mini when I was when I got the dangerous power G4. Fucking love that gun. I'm very very happy. I got the G4 all day long. Um, it's honestly do whatever your little heart desires. You know, don't don't let people tell you what gun you can and can't buy. That's just like. And, you know, that's just like someone saying, hey, your girlfriend's ugly when you think that she's beautiful. Even though she might be ugly, you think that she's beautiful. You, you know, other people have certain preferences. And I'd have to say the reason why people are telling you to get an axe is because everyone that plays paintball knows what an Empire axe is. And they have probably most likely owned one or at least shot one because there's billions and kajillions of them everywhere. So that's, why I, that's what I have to say, honestly. Get the get whatever you want. Don't get what everyone else tells you to. I love the rail. I would not go back and buy an axe. I'm very, very pleased with what my rail has done. I do like the axe. I love the axe, but I, for me, it, I just love the rail. What do you think, Nick? Because you own a rail. Um, I have my rail right here, but we have videos of both. Jake did a review of his rail, and Tusky did a review of his axe. If you have any more questions, just go watch those, and they might answer them. <coughs> Invert me. <laughs> So this one guy asks, how do you guys afford all of your markers you guys purchase? Well, first off, we don't purchase our markers. We go and steal them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So really? How, I don't know. So how do we purchase, how, do, how can we afford our markers? Well, you know, I mean, make money. We have jobs. I mean, how else would we not afford We them? all started off with, like, cheap guns. Just didn't know if we were getting into the sport or not. And it took us about two years to actually upgrade to these guns and our new equipment, new jerseys, new hoppers, new tanks. So, it's a long time coming. Anything about you, Jacob? Yeah, we're collecting gear as it comes. Just You start off, you start with very, very little, and then you get so much crap that you don't know what to do with it. What do you think, Jacob? I don't know. I started with an A5, and now I have, like, eight guns. So. <laughs> Yeah, so honestly, you have to get a job. Paintball is very, very expensive. It's not like, you know, I buy a new marker every single day. I try to buy one at least once a year so I have something new to change up. This one guy asks, I'm sort of regretting the E-Tech 4, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, long story short, he just asks, what's a good BST website that we'd like to, that, you know, we'd like to buy and trade that kind of stuff? Uh, PB Nation, Tech BB, McCutter Brown. Uh, Pornhub.com <laughs> um, Practically anything that is a paintball website Or even on Facebook Be, be advised you, you don't eBay You can use eBay shit if you want to use eBay 
Craigslist, even if you want to use Craigslist, but really PB Nation, Techie B, McCarter Brown, all those, those are my three favorite right there. Um, PB Nation is one of the more popular ones. If you're a Tech BB kind of person, like I like Tech BB, it is very, very heavily moderated. Like they're, you know, you can't get a, get away with shit on that website. So I mean, some people love that stuff. So you know that you're really getting the product that people that you know has described you. So um, that's what I have to say. What do you guys think? Uh, I check Craigslist a lot because there's a lot of people that don't know what they have and don't know what it's worth. And then they sell it for super cheap. So keep that in mind. I don't buy anything off those forums. Okay, so one guy asked, how come you can see through the thermal I4 lenses and other ones that you can't see through? So, like the mirrored lenses, why can you see, like why can't you see their eyes sometimes and why can you see their eyes sometimes? It's all about the lighting. They're not pure 100% mirrored. Um, if you know you're in standing in light, they look don't look mirrored at all. Haha, <laughs> Nick, you just broke a ball in that video. But yeah, you, sometimes they don't look mirrored, and sometimes they look like just complete godlike. All my friends are into airsoft. I'm sorry. Get That's new friends. Sick. Yeah, you need new friends. Go kill your friends. Put them under a bridge, and bury them with paintball guns. So burn their bodies and bury them with paintball guns. So people, you know won't identify their body because the parents going to be like, Mom, that ain't my Johnny because my Johnny only played airsoft. He hated paintball. That's my advice to you. Kill your friends. So about two months ago, this guy asked <laughs> in, on November 14th, what camera do you use? What camera should I buy? Replay XD. Boom. 1080. Did a review. Oh, uh, that review should be coming, I'm pretty sure, this week. So yeah, Replay XD is the ones that we use. Go for it. Get a replay. Awesome cameras. Or Doug and Pierre. They are little rebels, and they get contours. They're, they seem to love their contours. We don't use GoPros. GoPros are big. GoPros are fat. GoPros are gay. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not in the way who sucks my pod because I'm so into paintball. I have 30 pods, thank you. I don't understand your question. Who suck a pod? What's he talking about? I guess we don't suck on eggs anymore. I guess we suck <laughs> on pods. I think he's self-medicating. One guy said in our practice video, wow, you guys suck. I don't understand your question. Please tell me what your question was. I don't understand. There's no question mark. Hey, Luke Johnson, you're back again. Yeah, We're going to do a review on the G5. No! <laughs> One of you guys should buy a DM14. I'm open to $1,400 on <laughs> gifts. <laughs> Maybe we did. Maybe we didn't. I don't know. G5 or Empire Axe? I play outdoors and indoors. Please, please, PLX, help. Uh, PLX, I don't know what that means. G5 or Empire Axe? Um, see, I don't understand why people ask us to compare a f almost $500 gun to a $300 gun. I mean, that should answer your question right there. Get the axe all day long. One guy asked, how fast does the reflex rail ramp? Really? Really? I don't know. I don't really think that matters. I'm pretty sure 33.5 balls a second. I'm pretty sure is the highest you can get it if you're using a hopper and solid paint that can feed that. Where do you make custom jerseys? <laughs> Raza. Raza Life. It's made in Mexico. Sort of. It's made in the USA apparently, but it's in Mexico. It's outsourced. It's Fuck the Raza. USA in Mexico. Sewed. In Mexico. Ah, bullshit. It's, it's all shit. To America. Back to America. So, last question. We're going to end this on some love mail. Some guy inboxed us. He says, I just wanted to message you and tell you guys that um, you guys have a lot of videos and not enough appreciation. I don't know if I spelt that right. Ha, ha, ha. I think you spelt it right. I stuck at spelling. Don't worry. And keep up the good work uh, until you get someplace. Blah, blah. Yeah. Thank you um, for your love mail. I guess, and people always say, hey guys, I wish you guys had more views, um, well, you should share our videos every now and then, you know, that might help with the, the whole view thing, if you share the videos, share. Check out our Facebook page, we're going to start using that more. Team often. Insanity Paintball on our Facebook. We'll insert the link in the description. Do a giveaway soon. Will. What? Giveaway soon. Yeah, giveaway, eventually, when it comes out. You guys don't know what it is yet. Actually, if you do, if you watch our vlog, 
It protects your eyes, and it's made by HK Army. Do your research. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a pod pack! Um, so yeah, that's how we're gonna end. Thank you for the love mail. We love love mail. Go share our videos. Um, yeah. There you go.